Fair is foul and foul is fair in Macbeth, William Shakespeare's fantastical tragedy where you can have your cake and eat it too, except your cake is made of dirt because you've been murdered, because you murdered a bunch of your friends, and a woman, and a child. The play starts with Macbeth being royally screwed by the three witches of fate, who tell Macbeth that he's about to be promoted and will eventually become king. The promotion comes quickly, and Lady Macbeth aggressively, and that's putting it lightly, calls out her husband's manhood if he doesn't murder the current king in order to move things along faster. Surprise, surprise! Once the foulness of murder is complete, everything fair drains out of Macbeth's world. One murder follows another as the paranoid Macbeth seeks to cover up the previous murders. Macbeth decides to see the three witches of fate again and demand more prophecy, hoping for good news. And what do the witches of fate do? They screw with him again even harder, convincing him that he's invincible which he believes, right up until his head's removed by a guy whose family was murdered on Macbeth's orders. To me, what it seems like this play is about is the descent into madness that follows committing an act so evil that all the water in Great Neptune's ocean isn't enough to wash the blood from your hands. What it's really about, to me, is that life can seemingly go down two paths, one where you choose evil and one where you choose good. But... In the end, both paths meet in death, and you realize there was really only one path, littered with the breadcrumbs of your life choices, leading to either realizing your true self completely in life, or dying fraught with sound and fury. Please go watch Akira Kurosawa's Throne of Blood, Macbeth set in feudal Japan. My favorite adaptation. Some men just want to watch the world read.